Yeah, good day, you mob. Just thought to give a quick update what's been happening in the shed lately. Well, basically not a lot. Just had a fairly hot summer here and the temperature's over 45 degrees C during the day. Gets a bit hot out here, so things have been sort of put on hold. But now the weather is starting to cool down a bit, especially the nights. It's sort of time to get back into a few more projects. So just to show you a few things that have, have been happening. Well, firstly, I just recently picked up this nice studio Sony monitor, nine-inch screen, and uh, just been running it up, and it's working really well. Just got on the old SigGen, and also I've just got an old Philips black and white monitor here. Yeah, this monitor, it's a very nice one. Professional monitor has has the uh, inputs here but line A, line B, the RGB component signals and things like that so it'd be a handy little monitor for testing video equipment. Now you can't really beat a nice CRT for image quality either. Anyway coming through here quick look down here Okay, what I've done, I've took down, I had a shelf uh, thing in, in this little spot here and this is the uh, wall rack that was mounted on the wall with the shelves on it. So I've taken that one out and picked up a really nice little filing cabinet with it. I measured it up and it fitted in the space really well here with just a few mil to spare between the two cabinets. Anyway, uh, I found another rack assembly which I mounted on the back wall here which I put some of the shelves back on that way I can put the meters and magnetos and things back up on the thing here yes I've already pretty well managed to fill this thing up yeah, lots of meters and sorted electrical components. Okay, moving on. I found this old uh, El Dorado electronics. Uh, frequency meter that had been discarded and it has Nixie tubes as the readouts. When I, when I powered it up the displays weren't working very well so I basically measured the voltages and found that the 12 volt rail is not working and that's due to this, uh, the diodes and the rectifier that are blown. And it's probably due to these capacitors that are off that power supply that are all leaking and corroded. So that'll be a job of just replace all the electrodes and make sure the power supply voltages are working and try again. Yeah, this is a nice little meter I picked up recently. It's an old amp meter, DC, and uh, I restored it. The meter assembly inside is mounted on rubber grommets for shock proofing, and those grommets had completely corroded or fallen apart, and the mechanism was bouncing around. So I replaced the rubber grommets with fresh ones, and it's all good. And I uh, tested it out against a known meter and made up a load resistor for it yeah and it works really well and it's even got a nice little illumination lamp on top here's another little project I scored this old Watson Victor Australian made ECG unit 
and I've been sort of having a bit of a play around with that. It's the old bouncing ball type of display. Yeah, also scored this nice old capacitor, 35 kV, 50 picofarad, this one. So it might be handy in a Tesla coil or something like that sometime. Yeah, nothing we can scrounging for. This old uh, radium dial clocks, such as these ones. I found a few of these on a sort a swap meet so unfortunately this little clock here it doesn't work it's the main spring of it has been overwound and broken so I don't know if it's worth repairing but I'll probably just put this clock back together and just just keep it as a curiosity I also found some radioactive radio valves tubes some people call them you may use uranium glass on the end seals and like this big one here. No worries. Thanks for watching and hope you all have a great day. Catch you next time.